Hey guys, Mr. Pokey here, back with another video and this is just going to be an extremely, extremely quick video which is for the first time ever since I've been playing Honky Starbucks as well as Zenda Zone Zero uh, a unit actually got buffed as of the Creator Experience Server Subscribe! I'm sure some of you guys have probably heard of it by now but Ting Yi actually got a Pretty considerable buff uh, to a pretty big portion of a kit actually so the first thing that chain got buffed you can see just right here it's gonna be this stun damage multiplier previously in my video it used to cap out at a maximum of 60 percent right 20 times 3 now this has went up by one percent which means that ching Yi's absolute highest stun damage multiplier at maximum stacks is going to be at a whopping 80 percent a 20% stun damage multiplier increase which means that during the burst windows whenever you're going to be using Ching Yi with your burst DPS or frankly speaking ends of DPS you can expect to get a much higher damage output because of this additional 20% stun damage multiplier right so a very very considerable buff and this is practically given for free as long as you upgrade all of your core talents over here now another buff that i'm going to be talking about is going to be regarding the enchanted moon blossom which is the enhanced heavy attack so you can see from the footage previously uh when she's charging up the multiple hits stabbing multiple times and then we let go of one final hit the derage attack is doing the part where you're going to get this additional 40% damage reduction anti-interrupt levels increased and damage received is reduced by 40% during the rush attack. Uh, I would say that this is not exactly a buff that changes everything, but it definitely provides some sort of additional um, comfort for players who are not very familiar with Qing Yi or you're not really timing the dodges properly and you're going to be getting hit. This additional 40% damage reduction is definitely going to be able to help you guys uh, feel a little bit more comfortable, especially when we're going to be playing against the end game bosses who do hit you quite a bit if you are not able to dodge or parry the attacks, right? So there's an overall very comfortable quality of life upgrade. And another buff, which is also going to be pertaining to the basic attack. Unfortunately, I've already activated my mindscapes, so you guys can't really see, but it's essentially this thing right here. The third hit for your day's damage multiplier is going to be a pretty considerable increase. Previously at level 12, this was only 16.5%. Uh, but now at level 12, it has went up to 29%. Uh, keep in mind, this might look like it's a very small change. But know that this third hit days multiplier is referring to the electric field that Qing Yi is going to be casting, which means that you're going to be hitting a lot, a lot, a lot of times uh, during this electric field, which will definitely improve Qing Yi's overall stun time, the time it takes uh, for Qing Yi to actually daze target. Right? So another excellent, excellent buff when it comes to Qing Yi's base attack. And you are going to be using this very, very frequently because this is one of, if not the fastest ways for us to charge up Ching Yi's uh, Flash Connect, right? So very, very good that we can actually use this to daze of enemies even faster now. Then one final buff for Ching Yi's kit is going to be specifically tied to her Mindscape 2, which is now a very small change going from a 133% of our Subjugation's original value to now 135%. Keep in mind, this is also coupled with the fact that our core skill also went up to 4% instead of 3% last time, up to a maximum of 80%. So with this additional increase, we are now going to be able to hit an additional 108% stun damage multiplier, which means that if you are going to be in combat with Qing Yi against a target, the stun damage multiplier will now hit up to 258% if you are not Qing Yi's mindscape too. So it is a really good damage increase as well, considering the fact that they buff up the core skill and now they buff the mind to to make this multiplier even higher right so very very good but there is however one nerf that actually hit Chingy, which is specifically tied to the dodge counters so for Chingy's dodge counter the day's multiplier actually kind of went down by quite a considerable amount from 366 percent at level 12 to now only 286.1 percent at level 12. this is going to be buffed up because of the plus four uh, but just keep in mind the day's multiplier has went down from the dodge counters so what this essentially tells me uh as a kid overall is basically Qing Yi is now a much more reliant on the players actually using the electric field, the base attack tree, as well as the enhanced heavy attacks to stack on your day's multipliers instead of relying so much on Qing Yi's dodge counters, right? Since they have reduced Qing Yi's dodge counter day's multipliers. So I think overall, from the grand scheme of things, uh, you might not feel that big when it comes to the dazing speed. You're definitely going to be able to see a much better damage output during the daze window because of this stun damage multiplier buff from 60% to 80%. And this is the far more considerable buff uh, compared to the daze damage multipliers as well as the anti-attack, right? So I would say that this is the most important buff 
for the entirety of Qing's kit. Uh, the rest of the stuff, the Daze Damage Running Player for the Perturbed Basic Attack, the Anti Interrupt, as well as the Nerve to the Dodge Counter, it kind of just tuned a little bit for Qing Yi's playstyle. Instead of being so uh, reactive towards the enemy's attacks and you want to dodge, you are now a little bit more proactive. You just want to spam your Electric Field all the time, get your Flash Connect, spam your attacks, and then get into the Daze Bar as soon as you win Voice Bar. So those are the changes that has been applied to Qing Yi as of this current moment. And Qing Yi, as we know, she is going to be coming out in as of the time of this recording, probably in five days. Uh, so yep, that is pretty much it. Does this change anything when it comes to Qing Yi's pulling value as a player as she's her banner is going to be releasing? In my opinion, she still kind of functions the same role, which is a very, very good dazer for a burst DPS. The buffs doesn't really allow Qingyi to change that much in a sense where now she's like tier zero for every single team comp. Now I'm there, right? She basically does a job much better now for a burst DPS. You now deal much higher damage during your stun windows. Uh, you can now daze a little bit faster and you're not as prone to needing to dodge enemies, relying on dodge counters that much anymore. As well as the quality of life, which is the 40% increased damage reduction, right? And for the whales, if you are going to be getting Qing Yi's Mindscape 2, then you're definitely going to feel an even bigger increase for up to 108% additional stun damage multiplier, which is absolutely insane, right? Uh, that being said, fundamentally speaking, my point kind of still stands, in my opinion. If you are interested in like this kind of burst DPS artifacts, you are playing with Zhu Yuan, you want to build any sort of burst DPS in the future, I think Qing is definitely going to be an excellent, excellent pick for your account, considering the fact that her core skill, the passive, uh, it activates with any attack units, right? So very, very good. Uh, but that means that if you already tap your mind on, for example, maybe your team one is Ellen, Sokaku, as well as Lycon, and your team two, you want to play with Jane Doe and normally teams, uh, then maybe Qing Yi's pool value might not be that important for you. Uh, when it comes to the amount of value you're going to be getting out of your polychromes, right? So that is going to be my personal opinion. A very, very nice buff. So burst damage enjoyers, you're definitely going to be able to see a pretty decent increase in the damage output, especially during your burst damage windows, right? So that is going to be there. And with that, we have pretty much come to the end of this very, very quick video summarizing Qing Yi's changes. As of this current version before she goes live and i believe this should be the final version update if there's any changes again in the future i'll let you guys know so uh, that's all for today uh join twitch join discord join youtube all the best for your team pools and i'll see you guys next time take care